Barbara. I will always help and Barbara were all alone together. And everyone has spoken about the International Friendship Club in relationships. The Friendship Club has lost some important people, but I've lost two friends. And Yvonne and Barbara and Barbara and Mel, Yvonne and you and Al. My husband was suffering uh, from dementia for about four years. And the last trip that we took from Viarta was with the Friendship Club when we went to Tulpa for the day. And Ab was in a very angry phase of his sickness. He was very difficult that day. And Yvonne and Al stepped forward as friends, calmed him down, explained why the bypass was built the way it was and, <laughs> and all. And I just, that, and then they took care of us when the bus came in and made sure we got home all right and all. And it was a team. I never thought of the two of you as being anything but together. Though Yvonne always picked me up for the book club that Barbara started, we were original members. And when I'd get in the car with Yvonne and say, how are you, Yvonne? She'd say, and how are you, Betty? And then she would be more interested in what my family was doing and how I was doing than in telling me about herself. That was Yvonne. And we did work at the, <laughs> the different bazaars and things together, and that I remember too. And Barbara, you and Mel, we were trying to remember how long we'd been friends and we'd forgotten. But I think we met at a Valentine's Day at Casa Kimberly many, many, many years ago. And uh, have been friends ever since. We both live in the same area in Chicago. We met down here, but I saw more of Mel and Barbara in Chicago. They were too busy with the Riyadh friends in the wintertime. I had to catch them in the summer. And uh, I will say, I mentioned when I saw Yvonne the last time, but Mel was waiting for a long time to go into the hospital. They were doing a lot of testing on him. I wanted to meet them at either, I said Chinese or deli, and I mentioned a deli restaurant. Mel says, no, you have, we have to go to this deli restaurant because they have wonderful split pea soup on Tuesdays. <laughs> he was only in town three months. I had lived there all year round, and he's the one that knew where to go for the split pea soup on Tuesday. And <laughs> so uh, we had lunch, and he told me what sandwich to order and how to order it and all. And we're talking, and he was quite nervous because they were doing testing and making him wait a long time for his admission to the hospital. And I could see that day he was getting very antsy. And I didn't say it then, but I knew he was worried about you, Barbara. He didn't want to leave you. And he was concerned about himself. His body, you know, his body may have been failing, but his mind was not. And when we left the restaurant, I, um, I, uh, we walked to the door, and Mel said, Betty, goodbye, and he kissed me on both cheeks. And he was saying goodbye, and I said, see you soon, Mel, take care of yourself. And I went into the car, and I had to I went into the car, and I had to cry. But I've lost two friends. I know that many things that I've done through the friendship have been related to the two, but I'm speaking personally as a friend. And I want to say that now, Barbara, Al, and I, we will never know of the partnerships that we had. Avrin and I were married just two months short of 66 years, so that wasn't too bad either. And I said goodbye to my husband four and a half years ago. And it's been, a it, it's been a lonely time ever since. But thank you all for your time, and I just wanted to let you know that I lost two very nice friends. It's been what? It's been a privilege knowing you. Well, it's always been a privilege knowing you, Al. But you were always a team. I only love you. Thank you.